Hi dear students, today I would like to discuss publishing of articles. Okay, uh, today I would like to give an introduction on publishing of articles in journals, newspapers, newsletters, etc. So I will explain the basics of publishing of articles. As we know, researchers will do research for three or four or five and uh, sometimes more than the five years also the researchers will do to get result of their research okay and that result is the achievement of a researcher okay that result of a research is the achievement of a researcher okay and the achievement or the final result of a researcher sometimes that can save life lives and and they can change the way we understand the world or that can change the concept we understand and that sometimes that can improve the quality of life okay the achievement of a researcher or the result of a researcher that can sometimes save the life or it can able to change the way we understand the world or it can also change uh, uh, helps uh, can uh, change the quality of life or that can able to improve the quality of life okay and if a researcher keeping his result uh, research result as secret then that will be not useful this useful to the society okay if a researcher is keeping his research result as a sick as secret then that result is not useful to the scientific community or common people okay that time and if you want to share the knowledge okay if you want to share the knowledge to the society okay if you share the knowledge then only it will be useful for the society and if you want to share the knowledge okay that is formed by the your research better you publish your research work okay the best way to share your knowledge is to publish of research work okay and this research work can be published in journals newspapers newsletters the final result or our research result can be published in journals, newspapers, new newsletters to share with the scientific community or readers. And the publishing of a research article helps to disseminate the result of experiment. Okay, publishing will helps to spread the result of our experiment or research. Okay, that will help to spread the result of our results. Okay, and it also helps to inform the audience about a new concept. Okay, sometime our research may find a new concept or that may design a new concept. So, this publishing of our research article helps to inform the audience about a new concept and it also helps to inform or share the advances in a technology or scientific field okay uh, after our research sometime we may design or we may find the new technology so publishing of this article helps to inform the audience or scientific community about our new technology and the advances in the scientific field so these are the purpose of publishing of articles scientific articles and apart from this scientific interest a good publication is necessary to get a good good related job okay if you want to do a job in related to your research field then you must have a good publication you must have good publications in your research field then only 
the host institute will consider you for the for a job okay that means you should have a good publication okay you should have good publications to consider you for getting a related job when you are publishing a research work the following are important okay uh, you have to decide when you will publish what you will publish and where you will publish you have to decide okay you have to decide when you will publish what you will publish and where you will publish you have to decide and the next one is uh, you have to write a great research paper okay you have to write a great research paper means you have to write a quality research paper that means when you are writing if you are a beginner that time your scientific writing will be uh, will not be that much good so you have to seek information from the seniors senior academics patients the uh, scientists they are working in your department or other institution you can seek information okay you seek information from others before you are submitting the research paper so they can give some suggestions or correction they can uh, give some corrections in research paper so the final paper will be high quality paper so uh, you have to write a great research paper and uh, next one is you have to choose a best journal for your work okay you have to choose a best journal for your work then you have to make sure that this paper uh, so, uh, you have to make sure that this your research paper is fit for that journal okay sometime uh, the most of journal will publish only papers that comes uh, in the in the same in a one theme okay nerves one area of uh, research only will publish some journals so that time you have to publish you have to submit the paper in that uh, research work that related to that theme otherwise they will reject that your paper so you have to find which paper is fit for our uh, research work and you have to get uh, consider the quality of journals and quality of your research okay if you are uh, some mostly the research journal we can see some are giving the research work that is basic quality and some will give moderate and some will give high quality publish only high quality research so you first you have to understand in which category your research paper is coming so you have to submit your paper uh, coming in that same grade and you have to consider at, up to what time this uh, journal will take to publish your paper because some the journals will take more than one years okay more than one years some but some journals will publish the paper within one month or six months so you have to consider the time of publication when you are selecting a uh, journal so i will explain in the next uh, class i will explain what are the procedure is uh, in the selection of a journal and uh, next you have to when you are writing a research paper you have to follow the style of a selected journal so i told you you will select a journal for the publication of your research article so you have to design you have to write your publication in the st same style of your selected journal and uh, next you have to publish paper ethically okay publishing ethically is an important thing in the uh, publication of uh, research articles publishing ethically means authorship dis there should not be any authorship dispute there should not be any plagiarism and there should not be any simultaneous submission okay so authorship dispute means if you are at uh, if you are publishing a paper you have to give the authors they are related with your research okay they are related with your research never add a name of a an author that are not related with your research that means never add any family members or friends name in your research paper they are not having any connect with connection with your research okay and 
you have to remove the plagiarism you have to avoid the plagiarism plagiarism means never take any research result from others okay never take any research result from others if you are quoting their result in your paper that time you have to mention you have to cite their name in in your research work research paper and uh, never take ex exact sentence from others paper also okay and uh, never submit a single research work at a time into more than one journal okay that is a simultaneous submission you should have to avoid that means never submit a single research paper into more than one a journal okay you submit first you submit one journal if they reject it then you take you can modify it and you can submit to other uh, journals never do the submission to more, uh, more than one journal at a time okay this is this is the important things you have to rem remember when you are publishing a, a research paper okay and in next class uh, class i will explain detail about selection of research papers and what are the how we can identify the quality of a research paper and how you will write research paper that i will explain in the next classes okay i hope you understood this thank you thank you for listening